Hi, I'm Catherine, the Ranking Gal. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoy our video and thanks for watching. Throughout history, no other medium has caught the imagination and attention of the public more than the movie industry. And Hollywood actresses are arguably the most glamorous of all the women in entertainment. Now we have ranked the best movie actresses of all time, all of them very talented and many of them also very beautiful. Now, since this is so subjective, we decided to quantify it and rank them according to Oscar accomplishments. Each actress was given one point for an Oscar nomination, one additional point for a supporting actress win, and two additional points for a lead actress win. Now, point ties were broken by the total number of Oscar nominations, and then the most Golden Globe nominations, if necessary. So feel free to disagree with our rankings, but don't blame us, blame the Academy's voting over the last 90 years. And while this quantitative method removes subjectivity from the rankings, let's look at it. It could not undo the extreme white bias in Hollywood history. Hence, to rectify this unfairness, only the first 23 spots are strictly by the numbers. The last two ranking slots and the honorable mentions give preference to racial diversity. Hi, and welcome to another video from Ultimate Rankings. I'm Mark, the Ranking Guy. The rankings on our channel are the result of serious research and relative criteria unlike the many other fluff videos out there. The goal of our channel is to bring you the most accurate, interesting, and informative top 25 rankings in all of sports and entertainment. Let's get to the rankings. Our first three honorable mentions go to Haiti McDaniel, who won the Oscar for 1940 for Best Supporting Actress, the first black actress to win an Academy Award. Next is the beautiful Dorothy Dandridge, who in 1955 became the first black actress to be nominated for a Best Actress in the Leading Role. And the Spanish Enchantress Penelope Cruz has three Academy Award nominations and also an Oscar win. Actresses with six nominations but unfortunately no wins are Amy Adams, Deborah Kerr, and Thelma Ritter. Actresses with five nominations and one Oscar with all of them winning in a lead role are Anne Bancroft, Susan Hayward, Jennifer Jones, Shirley MacLaine, Juliana Moore, Susan Sarandon, Norma Shearer, and the always elegant Audrey Hepburn. Screen legend Greta Garbo started out in silent films before the Oscars were first awarded, but still managed to earn four Oscar nominations before her career was over. And lastly, we have the world's best current young actress, Jennifer Lawrence, who is the youngest ever to receive four Academy Award nominations and also won an Oscar all by the age of 25. At number 25, we have Halle Berry, who was the first black to win an Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role. She also has four Golden Globe nominations and one win for portraying Dorothy Dandridge. She was first runner-up in the Miss USA beauty pageant and is known for her fashion sense. She is a versatile actress capable of transitioning easily between drama and action hero movies. I was doing good, but I did, I did every single thing I could I, I was really good. I was At number 24, we have Viola Davis, who has four nominations and one Oscar win in a supporting role. She also has six Golden Globe nominations and one win. She often plays long-suffering mothers and has won a Primetime Emmys and two Tonys, the first black actress to win the Triple Crown of Acting. Yeah. Well, I've been standing with you. I've been right here with you, Troy. I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. At number 23, we have Sally Field, who has three nominations and two Oscar wins, both leading in roles. She also has 11 Golden Globe nominations and two wins. She started out in light comedy, highlighting her cute girl next door looks and transitioned into drama where she often played strong-willed mothers who tried to make a better life for their children. She also won three primetime Emmys and was even nominated for a Tony Award. She didn't hear one word I said. She doesn't hear you right now. Now, you know that happens, Norma It happens well, all the time. Well, it happen to my mom. At number 22, Renee Zellweger, who has four nominations and two Oscar wins, once for a leading role and once for a supporting role. 
She also has seven Golden Globe nominations and four wins. She is known for stylish dresses and her sense of fashion. She played Judy Garland in the movie Judy in 2019, where she impressively performed her own vocals and picked up her second Oscar, her first in a leading role. I know your plot. My plight? Am I hard to hear? Because you keep repeating everything. I ain't looking for money. I never cared for it. Now it ain't worth nothing. I expect to board and eat. At, At number 21, we have Vanessa Redgrave, who has six nominations and one Oscar win in a supporting role. She also has 13 Golden Globe nominations and two wins. She often chooses roles that are difficult or controversial, not caring about money or higher status. She also has won a Primetime Emmy and Tony Award earning the Triple Crown of Acting. Never! I will have no dealings with that lady and I will use force if I must to stop her returning to Scotland. At number 20 we have Glenda Jackson who has four nominations and two Oscar wins, both in leading roles. She also has eight Golden Globe nominations and one win. This British-born actress is known for her strong speaking voice, meticulous approach to her work, and playing emancipated women's roles. She also won two Primetime Emmys and a Tony, earning her the Triple Crown of Acting. I am fed up with you. I am fed up with this arrangement. I am fed up with hanging around on the off chance that you may condescend to drop in between the baseball and the golf. <laughs> and if you do not have to take your children to Kew Garden. We at number 19, we have Jodie Foster, who has four nominations and two Oscar wins, both in leading roles. She also has eight Golden Globe nominations, three wins, and was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. She started doing commercials at the age of four, and by 15, she received her first Academy Award nominations in the movie Taxi Driver. Despite never taking acting lessons, she won two Oscars before the age of 30, including a memorable performance as FBI trainee Clarice Starling in The Silence of the Lamb. You put on a show? What the hell are you talking about? You saw me at the hospital. What do you, what do you think I, I asked for that? Is that what you think? If that's what you think, you get the fuck out of my house. At number 18, we have Ellen Burstein who has six nominations and one Oscar win in a leading role. She also has seven Golden Globe nominations and one win. She is known for her beautiful smile and for her portrayal of complicated women in dramas. She also won two Primetime Emmy Awards and a Tony Award, earning her the Triple Crown of Acting. At number 17, we have Sissy Spacek, who has six nominations and one Oscar win in a leading role. She also has seven Golden Globe nominations and three wins. This beautiful actress is known for her strawberry blonde hair, freckles, and sweet southern accent. She is also a singer who has even won a Grammy and three primetime Emmys. Baby, they're out there waiting on you now. You don't want to let them down. No, tell me about letting them down. The first lady of country music, Miss Loretta Lynn. Things is moving too fast in my life. At number 16, we have Judy Dench, who has seven nominations and one Oscar win in a supporting role. She also has 12 Golden Globe nominations and two wins. This British actress started out mainly in theater, winning several awards, before branching into film. She's also often known for playing dignified, strong-willed women in positions of authority. But I know something of a woman in a man's profession. Yes, by God, I do know about that. That is enough from you, Master Kelly. At number 15, we have Glenn Close, who has eight nominations but unfortunately no wins. Tied for the most in history. She also has 15 Golden Globe nominations and three wins. Known for her beautiful blue-green eyes, she often plays either scheming women or career-driven women. She also won three Primetime Emmys and three Tonys, earning the Triple Crown of Acting. You tell my wife, I'll kill you. It only takes... At number 14, we have Olivia de Havilland who has five nominations and two Oscar wins, both in leading roles. She also has three Golden Globe nominations and two wins. This beautiful British American actress often played emotional and sometimes physically vulnerable characters. 
She had good genes. She passed away last year at the age of 104, and her younger sister, Joan Fontaine, followed her in her footsteps and earned three Oscar nominations and one Oscar win herself. At number 13, we have Elizabeth Taylor, who has five nominations and two Oscar wins, both in leading roles. She also had eight Golden Globe nominations, three wins, and was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. Known for enchanting blue violet eyes, dark thick lashes, her love affair with beautiful jewelry, <laughs> and her numerous husbands. She was also a successful child actress, was the first celebrity to launch a perfume brand, and was a great philanthropist and humanitarian. That's your Gloria, Steve. That's your darling Gloria. At number 12, we have Maggie Smith, who has six nominations and two Oscar wins, once for a leading role and once for a supporting role. She also has 12 Golden Globe nominations and three wins. This distinguished London-born actress is known for beautiful cheekbones who has often played grumpy, acid-witted characters in the second half of her career. She also won four Primetime Emmys and a Tony Award, earning her the Triple Crown of Acting. I will not stand quietly by and allow myself to be crucified by a woman whose fetid frustration has overcome her judgment. If scandal is to your taste, Miss Mackay, I shall give you a feast. At number 11, we have Jessica Lange, who has six nominations and two Oscar wins, once in a leading role and once in a supporting role. She also has 16 Golden Globe nominations and five wins. This beautiful actress is known for her blonde hair, attractive figure, her deep, sultry voice. She also won three Primetime Emmy Awards and a Tony Award, earning her the Triple Crown of Acting. Uh, no, of course not, and you're right. It's just... What? I deserve something better, you know? I don't have to settle for this. I really don't. It's just that I've always been too lazy or too scared or... At number 10, we have Greer Garson who has seven nominations and one Oscar win in a leading role. She also won a Golden Globe. She was born in London of Scottish descent and is known for her bred hair, beautiful lips, and portraying strong women on the home front during World War II. She earned a record trying five straight Oscar nominations, all of them for an actress in a... At number nine, we have Kate Winslet, who has seven nominations and one Oscar win in a leading role. She also has 11 Golden Globe nominations and four wins. This British actress is known for often portraying angst-ridden women. She is among the few performers who have won an Academy Award, an Emmy, and a Grammy, and is the youngest actress ever to receive two Academy Award nominations. It happened so fast. It was snowing, the bombs, the flames. There were flames all over the village. Then the screaming began and got worse and worse. And if they'd all come rushing out, we couldn't just let them escape. At number eight, we have Kate Blanchett who has seven nominations and two Oscar wins, once in a leading role and one in a supporting role. She also has 11 Golden Globe nominations and three wins. This attractive, Australian-born actress is known for her blonde hair and beautiful blue eyes and cheekbones. She is a versatile actress appearing in blockbusters and as well as independent films and various other theater productions. So obvious what you're doing. You think I don't know? At number seven, we have Geraldine Page, who has eight nominations and one Oscar win in a leading role. She also has nine Golden Globe nominations and two wins. She is known as being a master craftswoman who seemed to bring out the most inner detail of the character that she was playing. She also received two Primetime Emmys, and her acclaimed work on Broadway garnered her four Tony Award nominations. Nah. You want to fight, officer? And you get the hell out of my house. At number six, we have Jane Fonda, who has seven nominations and two Oscar wins, both in leading roles. She also has 15 Golden Globe nominations, seven wins, and was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. She is the daughter of screen legend Henry Fonda, who is known for anti-war activism, her versatility as an actress, and for frequently playing women who are single, often due to problematic relationships. 
Blessed with both a beautiful face and body, this former fashion model started the aerobic craze with her workout books and videos. It's very scary for me to, to think that maybe it's not going to work out with him. I know. Down to the top five. At number five, we have Francis McDormand, who has six nominations and three Oscar wins, all in leading roles. She also has eight Golden Globe nominations and two wins. She is known for her sharp wit and for playing quirky, headstrong female characters. She also won two Primetime Emmys and a Tony Award, earning the Triple Crown of Acting. At number four, we have Ingrid Bergman, who has seven nominations and three Oscar wins, twice in leading roles and once in a supporting role. She also has seven Golden Globe nominations and four wins. This Swedish-born actress was known for her naturally luminous beauty, her 5 foot 10 inch frame, and for playing characters who were put through harrowing emotional ringers. She also won two Primetime Emmy Awards and a Tony Award, earning her the Triple Crown of Acting. So, it was not yours to sign it was also a punishment <laughs> at number three we have betty davis who has 10 nominations five of them in a row the first actress to do both and two oscar wins both in leading roles she also had three golden globe nominations and was honored with the cecil b demille award she is known for her large, distinctive, at times alluring blue eyes, her iconic and often biting sense of humor, and her forceful and intense style of acting. She often portrayed strong female characters and was also noted for playing unsympathetic, sardonic characters. I put on this white dress for you to help me tell you how humbly I ask you to forgive me. At number two, we have Katherine Hepburn, who has 12 nominations, all in leading roles, and is the only actor or actress in history to win four Oscars. She also has eight Golden Globe nominations and, surprisingly, no wins since she was nominated for three of the roles that won Oscars. A natural beauty with beautiful blue eyes, smile, and cheekbones, she often downplayed her beauty with little makeup and regularly wore slacks instead of dresses, decades before it became fashionable for women to do so. She had a distinct voice that had been described as patrician, affected, haughty, aristocratic, and metallic. Known for her headstrong independence and outspoken personality, she cultivated a screen persona that matched her public image. She often played strong-willed, sophisticated women. First-rate writer or a first-rate human being until you've learned to have some small regard for human fra- Hi again, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoyed our video and I am dying to find out who's number one. And lastly, of course, at number one, we have Meryl Streep, who has an amazing 21 nominations, by far the most in history, and three Oscar wins, twice in leading roles and once in a supporting role. She has an astounding 32 Golden Globe nominations, eight wins, and was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. Perhaps the best actor or actress ever, she is known for versatility, her ability to master almost any accent, and for being a perfectionist when preparing for a role. She frequently plays real-life characters, at least eight to date, and while beautiful, she never seems concerned with her looks on screen. She also has won three Primetime Emmys and has been nominated for five Grammys and one Tony Award. Hey, just a reminder that we do both sports and entertainment ranking videos, so please check them all out at our video channel. We don't expect anyone to completely agree with our rankings, so please let us know what your rankings are and what you agree and disagree with in the comments section. And feel free to let us know what ranking videos you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.